Happy Tuesday. Welcome to A Few Minutes with Jen. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about a couple things that are going on in our neck of the woods from a real estate perspective. So things are picking up. I know I already said that. I said it last week and I probably said it the week before. And I will have last week's stats up on my website um, soon so you'll be able to check those out. I'm still waiting for the week by week report. But I can tell you anecdotally, my phone is ringing more. I've gotten more um, inquiries from the internet, whether it's from realtor.com or my Berkshire Hathaway lead capture site. Um, people are calling and they're actually, sometimes those internet leads can be kind of disappointing, but these people are picking up the phone, they're making appointments, they're looking at properties, they're really getting ready to enjoy the benefits of what is probably gonna be a pretty good spring market, even though it's gonna be summer soon. Crazy, right? So. Um, I had, I scheduled three photo shoots today. I showed six properties on Friday. I'll tell you, it feels really good to be out and kind of doing my thing again. Definitely we're wearing masks. I have my beautiful red mask that I picked up today. I love it. Um, not super comfortable wearing it, but we all know that it is a necessary evil. So that's what we're doing. Um, we are showing properties, as you know, we're following CDC guidelines. Berkshire Hathaway has really fine tuned their virtual showing package and i can talk through all of that with you as well so the things that you're reading in the newspapers the stories that you're hearing about people who are trying to move out of the city to come a little bit west into the suburbs it's really true i scheduled a call for this coming week to speak with a realtor in brooklyn because i know that she's got people that are moving out this way surveyed 2,000 Americans. A full 39% of those Americans who live in urban areas have stated that in the last month they have seriously been considering moving out of the city into a less densely populated suburban area. If you have a house in a less densely populated suburban area, maybe Basking Ridge, and you're thinking about selling it to change your lifestyle, the odds are pretty good right now that you'll find a buyer. Our inventory levels are low. It's a really good time to sell. Interest rates are low. It's a good time to buy. These things line up quite nicely to help you meet your goals. Call me, let's talk through what your options are. Maybe you were thinking about downsizing and moving to the city and you decided not to, but you still don't want your really big house. Guarantee you there's someone in the city looking for more space who would wanna buy your house. We can downsize you to another area that's not in the city that's gonna give you the, more, the less space but more elbow room that you're looking for. Everybody's scenario is a little bit different. It's hard to generalize. That's why it's really important that we get on the phone and, and talk it through and, and let's see if there's something that we can help you with. Realtor.com also did a survey. They produce what they're calling the 2020 homeowner wish list. What's topping that wish list? And I know this is influenced by COVID, but what's topping that wish list is open space, natural light, a bigger yard, a home gym, an additional bathroom. Who wouldn't want an extra bathroom? Heck, even if it's just me and my husband in the house, I'd love to have my own bathroom and an updated kitchen. So obviously some of those things you can do in your current space, but if you're living in a tiny apartment in the city or you're living in a tiny house that doesn't have a big backyard, you might wanna make a change instead of modifying the home that you're in. Again, everybody's scenario is a little bit different. Definitely requires some sort of a consultation with some sort of a realtor who can help you understand what your needs really mean when it comes down to actually acting on them. I hope you had a great weekend. The weather was beautiful. My husband and I took Saturday off. We told the kids we were going on a date. We went to the shore and we really just spent some time together alone in the sunshine. It was very restorative, I'm telling you. So definitely take the time to get outside. I think we've got some rain coming later in the week. So hopefully it won't put too much of a damper on your life. Thanks again for spending a few minutes with me. And I look forward to hearing from you again sometime soon. Bye now.